So one of the questions was, why does GNLD use parabens in the skin care? And um, uh, if you can see the uh, picture here, the, the title says, Germs lurching in, Lurking in Old Makeup That Isn't Pretty. And if you do a little search on the web, you'll find that when uh, skin care products get contaminated, people can get really nasty infections from them. Uh, cause everything from uh, irritation of the eyelids to uh, blindness. So the reason why parabens are in the skin care is to prevent the growth of harmful bacteria and fungal organisms in there. Uh, parabens are actually widely used in the uh, cosmetic and pharmaceutical industries to prevent uh, contamination of products. They have a long history of safe use. They're rapidly absorbed and metabolized and excreted. Uh, parabens naturally occur in many foods, including uh, blueberries, carrots, olives, mangoes, green tea, vanilla, mm -hmm. cocoa, strawberries. So it's not like these are actually something that's uh, foreign to the body. Now, there are natural alternatives, and one of the reasons why there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of advertising where people produce products with grapefruit seed extract and so they uh, viciously attack any product that has the parabens in there. And they say, we have grapefruit seed extract that preserves our cosmetics, therefore it's more natural and better. Unfortunately, when you look at the literature, what you find is that when they did an analysis of grapefruit seed extract, they found two things. Basically, number one, the grapefruit seed extract by itself is ineffective as a preservative in cosmetics. And number two, when they examined the commercial grapefruit seed extracts, they have added preservatives, including methylparaben, which is a, a paraben just like GNLD is using in their products. They also found another product in there called benz benzothium chloride, which is an ammonium antibacterial agent. So even these things that are being promoted as being natural, they actually have preservatives in there also. And if they didn't, you would probably be having problems with uh, contamination with harmful things. Now, what's the basis for the, the original attack on the parabens? There was a study done in 2004 where they uh, examined uh, 20 cancers, breast cancers, and they found minute quantities of parabens in the tissue, which because of the abundance of these things in both food and uh, uh, cosmetics, it's not surprising that there would be residues of those. Um, and so they, uh, the researchers suggested that maybe they were coming from underarm deodorants. And uh, they, there's no direct link of these things with cancer, but they suggest that it should be studied and looked at. Now, parabens are very weak estrogens. Um, about 100,000 times weaker than estradiol. <laughs> And uh, they've only been shown to be estrogenic at a dosage about 25,000 times uh, higher than bubbles typically used to preserve foods. As I explained yesterday when I was talking about soy, um, it, it takes me back to a, a research study that I read by Henry Lemon a number of years ago. Um, and he was researching breast cancer. And what he found was that when he looked at the ratio of the estrogens in a woman, if she had a lot of estradiol, uh, her uh, risk of breast cancer went up. If she had higher levels of the weaker estrogens in her body, uh, estrone and estriol, particularly the, uh, the estriol is the weakest estrogen in a woman's body. And if that was twice as high as the combination of the other estrogens, the woman was at almost no risk of breast cancer. And what weak estrogens tend to do is they occupy the receptor site for the estrogen and prevent the full uh, impact of that hormone on the cell. And uh, estradiol promotes uh, cell growth. Estriol doesn't. And the same with the, uh, the soy estrogens. They're very weak. And they, uh, you know, if soy estrogens were carcinogenic, Japanese women would have a lot more cancer than American women, and they have much lower rates of breast cancer. The other thing with regard to uh, breast cancer is they have done studies like this and looked for other things and one of the common things they find is chlorinated pesticides in concentrated amounts in the uh, breast cancers in women. 
And in Israel, they had a spill of chlorinated uh, pesticides a number of years ago, so they banned them. And uh, it was the only country in the Western world where breast cancer rates actually went down. 